Hello, my name is Gabe here from Gaba QSA. In this video, we are going to teach you how to become a computer technician. So if you want to do that, this is the first class. And after this class, you have to follow the next class that is going to be in the playlist. So pay attention. Uh, we are going to start with the theory. Usually in my channel, I try to explain the theory first and then the practice, but in the beginning, it will be more a theory and then when we have to see more technical stuff we are going to jump in in the practice so here i wrote a few things um, it will be helpful for you the first thing that we have to think about it is how to present yourself so I, I said this before, like in the first class, how to become a computer technician. Many people think, okay, I just wake up and then, you know, people are very informal. Usually here in, in US, people, you will see that some technician, they go to your home, like they just uh, wake up from their, their bed. So almost in pajamas and you will see that. And maybe not, but usually if you work in a, a little company or maybe in a huge company, you usually you will have like a uniform like this. So they will have some dress code. So that is nice. So if you go to a customer like the way I am, you will look professional. If you go like something else, like maybe when you go to the Apple store, you go, you will see people with maybe earrings, tattoo, and other things that, that doesn't look that professional. But we have to try to work uh, and try to do a living. So the, be the better you look, the people, the better will treat you. I mean, even if you agree with this or not, but people in the, fi in the first 15 seconds, they will see you and they will take their conclusions if you are good or not. So even if you say, okay, you look, at, you look at me like that and you say, okay, you look professional, great. But if I look something else or I have a different clothes and I have long hair or maybe a tattoo or in my face or something like that, you will not look at me the same way you look Look, you look at me right now. That is how to present yourself. That is w what uh, I said. Um, also, when you start talking with the customer, if the customer say, okay, my name is John, you cannot say, oh, hi Johnny, what is your problem with your computer? No, you say, Mr. John, uh, this is Gabriel in my case. How can I help you? What is the problem with your computer? Please tell me. And in a very nice manner. So uh, now we are going to talk uh, step two, how to talk um, in a productive and professional manner. So that is very important because when you talk and you are not clear with your words, people will not understand you. And if they don't understand you, you're going to lose uh, time and the time is money and if you lose money or time you're not going to have a very profitable business so that is uh, is very important also another thing is maybe when you go to a, a company try to be very specific okay do you need to make this a backup sir on the the other guy will tell you, yes, uh, please do a backup of this, okay? Uh, and you have maybe a form, that is what I recommend. If you don't have the form, just let me know in the comment in the section below or I'll, I'll leave a link on the video description and you can get it over there. And then you will say, okay, uh, file, you want the, a backup of your desktop file, the, des the file that you have in your desktop? Oh, yes, okay, click check. And then you ask, okay, uh, the Outlook, the emails that you have in your Outlook, in the program, in your mail client. Um, yes, okay, check uh, favorites. Okay, check on something else. No, everything else is fine. Okay, but please sign here <laughs> because you, you may be 100% uh, right, 100% fire. So you have to make sure that you're going to be uh, productive and write and make uh, let uh, the user or the customer 
to know that if there is something out, because if you say, okay, do you have music? And the guy say, oh, oh yeah, I remember I had music. And if the guy, uh, you format the whole computer, and then the guy say, no, uh, you didn't f uh, say my da data or something like that, like the music, I, I forgot about that, and then uh, the things will get uh, very ugly. So in order to avoid those things, if you can get the form with everything that you can think of, then that way you will avoid mistakes. So that is a, a good thing also, try to avoid every bad word. I don't say bad words, I don't like bad words. People may say it, I don't care what people use, but you have to be professional and not, don't say bad words. At least that is my recommendation. You will look and uh, you will sound more professional if you talk right with the right words. And there are some people also that may get uh, offend or they will not like that kind of attitude. So if you try to be polite, don't say bad words and everything, people will appreciate that. So now we are going to talk uh, three. Uh, the subject th three will be, or the point three, will be works uh, safely and use uh, correct tools uh, so that means that you have to be very cautious when you start working with uh, with the computers and everything. Remember, unplug it from the wall. If you are going to repair a, a monitor or something like that, you have to um, do something inside. You have to solder something, change some component or something like that. Always uh, make sure that everything is in, I mean, it's unplugged. You don't have a current uh, running in the circuit. Also, when you have capacitors, but maybe we are going to talk in, in another class, those capacitor holds uh, electricity and if you're going to solder it and you don't discharge them, it may kick you. <laughs> so it, it will shock you. So uh, that is the, the problem that, that you may, may have in, in this kind of cases. Also, another thing, is try to use, if, if you can, like special gloves, anti-static uh, gloves, that is great. So in case you're going to touch maybe some motherboard or you have to replace something, a, dri a hard drive or whatever, and if you ruin it, you're going to pay it. So it's better to be safe than sorry. So that is one of the things. Also, if you go to the customer and you have a nice uh, kit of uh, tools, like this one, this is iFixit. So in this case, I'm going to show you what uh, it has inside, kind of. I have some review about this. Uh, here you have like many points. I mean, very many different screwdrivers with different ends, tips. So you can replace them. Also, you have uh, like a ruler, some cutter, um, and other things like tweezers, uh, spanchers, and you may have here a bracelet uh, for the anti-static, like a, a band for your wrist. So if you go to a customer with something like that, it will look much better than if you grab maybe a toolkit, you know, from, I don't know, from, from Walmart or some other place and you look more like an electrician than a computer guy. So those, those things is something that you have to think about. So everything that you can make you look and better and more professional, do that. That is what I recommend also. It will, I mean, when people start looking at you, when, how you work, what kind of screwdriver you use and everything, you have, you know, more uh, finest uh, tools or more uh, appealing tools, people will think, oh, this guy knows more. Because people, like I said before in the beginning, if they look at you and and you don't look very nice. I mean, you you are not dressed properly. You don't have the right tools and all the things. People will think that you don't know much. So that is that is one of the things. Uh, here I have another 
point on the whiteboard appearance, uh, casual versus, uh, versus professional. This is something that I was talking before, but dressing poorly is casual. I mean, uh, being shy because uh, when you dress a por a poorly, people will think poorly about you, even maybe if you're a hacker, if you know a lot of things about computer, you're a super programmer or super computer technician or whatever, but you dress poorly, people will think about you poorly. And also another thing is the technician, maybe many times they are shy, they, they don't look at the people at their eyes. So when you talk with people, look and look at them at their eyes and then uh, pay attention what they are saying. So when you are um, on, the on the customer, you cannot start with your cell phone and say, oh, yeah, uh, what is the problem, sir? Yeah, oh, okay, and you keep uh, tapping and doing your thing, and you're having phone calls and all those things. So, so pay attention, put a mute, uh, be concentrated on what the customer is trying to, to tell you. Poor communication, like I said uh, before, Try to to be very clear what you are going to do because when the customer see you, it means something. There is a problem with the computer, and they are going to pay you. So the, when you when they have a a, a, pro a problem with the computer, they want to be able to talk with the custom uh, with the <laughs> technician uh, very straightforward, straight, straight to the point. Say, okay, this is a problem. Um, please help me and sometimes they have some issues and you don't let the customer to talk and you have to pay attention even if they say like 10 words and you say oh yeah this is the problem just shut up and go away let me work no is maybe the customer wants to bend or something like that and then you you listen uh, to them and then after they start uh, stop talking and say, okay, sir, uh, yes, I think the, uh, this is the problem. And then you write it down or you start uh, working right away and say, don't worry, sir, I'll, I'll try to, to fix it right away. And if you're a professional, you, I mean, if you don't have, maybe you're start, starting working from your home or something like that, and maybe you don't have like a, a Gavak shirt like, like mine, and then what you can do is you can dress professionally. I mean, you can have a nice um, T-shirt. Um, if you want to use a tight, much better. You can maybe go with a suit and then people will look at you much, much different. So they will, they will think that you are very important. So that is it's nice. So if you don't have something like that, you can do something like I said before. So basically, this is the basic, basic, basic stuff so that you have to think about it. So if you want uh, what I just said, you can get uh, the um, annotations in the video description of this YouTube channel. And remember, follow the next video that is going to be in the, in the playlist so that way you're going to finish the, the whole class. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Remember to click on like if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. And remember to leave me a comment in the section below if you have any questions and see you next time.